Howdy, I'm Nate Large, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check paint for lead using this 3M lead check. This is not a sponsored video. Let's check out what we get inside the packet. Two swabs, a lead check card, and instructions. The instructions detail use in nine different situations. I wanna take a quick minute to investigate what's inside. As I pull this little sleeve back, we see a capsule on this side and a capsule on the other side. This one has a bit of a fine dust in it and we got a clear liquid over here and those are the two capsules when crushed and mixed. I'll create a surface over here that will turn red on the swab when it comes in contact with lead. Here is the subject that I'm going to be using to test. It's got lots of paint on it, couple layers, and I'm worried there might be lead and I don't wanna be exposed to it. So the first thing I need to do is take any dust that's settled on it, knock it off. Next thing I need to do is take my razor blade and I need to cut a V-shaped groove through all the layers of paint to expose all the different layers of paint. So I could see the bare wood down there. Next, I need to activate my lead check. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and crush both sides. A, B, and shake them. With the porous fiber swab facing down, shake twice and squeeze gently until yellow comes out. Swab is now activated now. I need to rub this area for about 30 seconds and immediately I get red and pink. So this has lead in the surface. I don't know which of the surfaces is lead. The test confirmation card is a quality assurance measure to confirm the reactivity of the 3M lead check reagents when the test result is negative. On each card are dots containing a small amount of lead. If a pink or red color appears on the confirmation card, the swab was activated properly.